Vicky, okay, you ready? Ready to teach mommy how to play magic? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hi, I'm, I'm mommy. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they really. Okay, I rolled a 10, so I'm going to go first if you don't roll 10. I'm making us roll off. Okay, so I'll go first. <clears throat> Wait, I, you rolled three. This is zero. Zero means ten. So put your dice at twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Dice is on camera. Okay. So, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Draw seven. Is it Pokemon? No. Um, usually, he said uh, he's got these sleeves. Mm. And he didn't want them, and he said, I can have them, but I have to use them. And I <laughs> said, I'll take them. <laughs> they look like, they are more like for Emma, aren't they? Yeah. It's I a really giant. like them. They're with so a cute. kitty paw. They're so cute. And Emma has just boring blue ones. Yeah. Well, that's because it's a boring blue deck. Mm. It's not boring. Oh, of course not. It's Merfolk. It's the best deck I have. Exactly. That's where I'm playing. Okay, so. This chocolate is good. Yes, it is. Do you want to play with our hands on the table, or do you want to... Hands on the table. Okay. So I'm going to start with a Temple Garden mm -hmm. tap. And it's your turn. So you draw. Mm -hmm. And I got... Okay. So, the best thing for you to cast is this Rashidun Dock Hand. Mm -hmm. So it costs... You have to put an island in play. Why is it the best? Because what this does is it only costs one blue. It does island walk, which I don't have island, so that's not going to matter. But she can spend one tap target land, so she can tap down my lands during my upkeep, so I can't use it. And so she can retard my uh, progress. Mm. So you put a land into play, and what do you do? Tap it, yep. Okay, so I'll start my turn. I draw a Sylvan Karyotid. I will Huh. Maybe that's really not going to hurt me after all. So I'm going to tap green and white and I'll play the Sylvan Carrington. So she's a 0-3 creature that can get me mana of any one color. So she's kind of like a land. She also has Hexproof, meaning you can't target her with anything. Yep, so it's untap. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Draw a card. Okay, <clears throat> okay so... What you probably want to do is so if you these lands mutable, mm -hmm. you can spend a mana and it becomes a two-two creature with all creature types. So it would be a merfolk, which will matter later in the game. Or you can play another island. Um, it kind of doesn't matter right now which land you want to play, but play land. You already have this in front of you, so if you're not going to use the Mutavolt, put it back. So do you want to cast it? Do you want to play Mutavolt or an island? Probably this Mutavolt. Okay, so put it into play. Now, right now, you can't use it, but later you can... Well, you can't attack with it. You can spend one, and it becomes a 2-2 creature. Mm -hmm. So if you want, you can save the mana to tap one of my lands during my next turn but I already have this so you can see it's probably not going to matter right now or what you can do is you can play one of these so this is a smuggler's copter it's an artifact that you put into play and then you can tap a creature to make it into a something that can attack or block later. When it attacks, you get to draw more cards. Or you can play this guy, and you can turn one of my lands into an island. Meaning I won't have those colors with that land. 
So you have a lot of options. Okay, so I will turn this into an island. Okay. To do that, you have to spend one blue okay. for his blue, and you have to spend one more to pay what's called the kicker, and this is in your hand. So he comes into play. You turn this temple garden into an island, so I just turn it upside down. And because I have an island, he gets bigger. He becomes a 2-2. Two -two. And this guy has island walk. So if I have an island, I cannot block him. So you can attack with that guy right now. And you could poke me for one. I attack you. Okay, tap him. <clears throat> tap him. Okay, I take one. All right. So I start my turn, untap. Now you're really supposed to tell me that it's my turn, but I recognize the game better than you, so I know and you can't do anything else. Okay, so. Uh. All right, um, I'm going to play. Do I want to get rid of that right now? Yeah, it kind of doesn't matter. Okay, concentrate on the game. So I'm going to play this untapped, pay two life. And I'm going to spend green, blue, green, white, and play this Wilt Leaf Leech. So he gives all my green creatures plus one, plus one, and all my white creatures plus one, plus one, and he's a 4-4. Four, four. So see. he's big. Yep, he's an elf knight. Isn't it she? It's an elf, who knows? It is a she, she has the you know what. Yep. Looks like she's got boobs. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I have Wiltleaf Leech. Yep. Your turn. So untap. Untap. So, hi. Draw your card. Ooh, I really like her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what she does is she lets you sacrifice a merfolk to make me pay one more if I want to cast a non-creature spell. So what do you want to do? Well, so... I guess I will cast that non-spell. Is she going to... Yeah, she'll make your merfolk bigger too, so that would be good. So play land. How much does she cost? One. No. Yes. How much does she cost? One. For the hex catcher? Well, okay. There are two symbols. There's a blue symbol and then a one. So how much does she cost? The one is for a one. Yes, the one is for a one, and the blue is for a blue. How much does she cost? Add them together. How much? What is one plus one? Two. What is? This is a one, and yes. this is a blue. Right. How much does she cost? Three whites. And ordering, three white ordering, she's yeah. hybrid. And one colorless. Okay. So how much is that? So what is three plus one? Four. Okay, so what is one plus one? Two. Okay, so the hex catcher's in play. Okay. Are you going to do anything else? Do you want to attack? Yes. With who? Probably her. She just came oh, into yeah. play. So probably him. Okay, I will block and kill him. And because he doesn't have island walk. Yeah, so I'll yeah. this one. Okay. So I take two because I can't block him. Okay, my turn. Are you going to play a land? You didn't play a land. Oh, yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay. Untapped. Your lands come into play untapped unless they say otherwise. Anything else? I attack. Okay. So I'll start my turn. I will 
draw a card. So I draw this Marsh Flats. I can pay one life, sacrifice it, and go find a plains or a swamp. So I'll pay one life, put it in my graveyard, and go find Can I just look at this? Yeah. Wow. Look at the Goddess Shrine. Still deciding if I want to play it. I'll play it tapped, so I don't lose two life. Are these from Babichka? Yep. Okay. They feel like the lines, like... Okay, I'm going to spend one white. Mm-hmm. Well, nah. I'm going to attack you for four. I'll attack you for four and see what you do. Are you going to take four or are you going to block? But you have blocked them and kill them, right? Well, yeah. Of course he'll kill them. He's huge. She's uh, huge. How, how much does she have? She's a 4-4. Four, four. Shit. She's riding some kind of deer or moose thing, so yeah. That's probably a horse with a very long neck. So what are you going to do? Are you going to block? Or are you going to take four? Right now you're at 20, so you can just take four. This is just a scum combinated giraffe horse. Um, okay, course that doesn't that. matter right okay. now. So what are you going to do? I'm just going to get a drink. We're playing a game. We're in the middle of the game. Yes. Okay, so, so, what are you going to do? Are you going to block? <sighs> Probably take the damage. Okay, so you take four. So, what are you at? Sixteen. What is twenty minus four? Sixteen. Okay, so why does it say twenty-six? You need to move this one I to the see. ten. Okay. Huh. Okay, your turn. So mm -hmm. untap. Draw your card. Oh, you got another one. Yep. Well, you can play a land and put her into play. I guess that's what I like. So how much does she cost? Two. Okay. So, no, this is in your hand. This is your hand. And you probably should get the smuggler's copter and play pretty soon so you can start attacking with enduring cards. So you have to pay for the hex catcher. <sighs> you okay? How much does she cost? Two lands. No. So tap two lands. I just keep forgetting to tap. You want to keep these open because of this trickster. Next time I attack, you can say instead I will tap your creature so she can't attack. So you spend one colorless for the one colorless and you spend blue for the blue. So you have a hex catcher. So this is just colorless. The one with no color in it is the colorless symbol. Okay. So what do you want to do? Do you want to attack? Well, what would you do? Would you kill them? He's only a one four. So you can attack with more creatures and I cannot block. So I guess I will attack with these. 
Okay, so tap your creatures. She just came into play, so she cannot attack. So all those are attacking? Yes. Okay. I'm going to spend one white. And I'm going to try to path to exile the hex catcher, which will move her from the game. You can spend, you can sacrifice a merfolk to make me pay one more for it. And you it. might as well, okay. So I'm going to remove this creature from the game. Mm -hmm. And her ability is you can sacrifice a merfolk to counter a spell unless the spell's controller pays one. So since I'm going to exile her anyway, you can just sacrifice her to make me pay one more for the spell. Do you want to do well, that? yes. Okay, so sacrifice her because she's going to go away anyway. And I'll pay one more. But it doesn't do anything because she's gone. So I still have those. I'm going to spend one white, and I'm going to try to do the same thing to him, the dock hand. I'm going to try to exile him. Are you going to sacrifice him to make me pay one more? You're not going to. You're going to let me exile him. If you let me exile him, you do get a land. So do you want him exiled or not? Probably not. I guess yes. So are you, is this going off? Are you going to let me exile him so you can get a land? Or are you not letting me do it? I'm going to get a land. Okay. So he, that's exiled. So look through your library and pick any island and put it into play. Tap. Just pick an island. What are you doing? I was just looking for one. They're all the same. Alright, I was I just found one. Okay. Give it here and I'll shuffle for you. Okay. So put the island into plate tapped. And the tide shaper is still attacking me. So I'll take two from him. Here, stack up your island so. There, that way it takes up less space. Okay, so I take two, I'm at 12. I'll start my turn. I draw Kitchen Finks. Yay! Nice. Yep. So when they come into play, I gain two life. And when they die, they come yeah. back into play but weaker, and I'll gain two life. So I'm going to. Let's see. One, two, three. Play the Finks. I gain two life. I'm at 14. And that because of the Wiltleaf Liege, he gets plus one, plus two, plus two, so he's a 5-4, so he's big. Okay. I'm going to attack you. Do you want me to attack you? How can I stop you? Well, you can put this into play, and you can tap my creature. Or you can keep that creature so when this dies it doesn't come back. And I'll show you how that works when it when it happens. Or you take four damage. Do you want to do something about me attacking? Well I 
guess I will do the thing that... Do you want to do that now, or do you want to wait until it will be more useful? Well, I guess I'll... Okay, so wait. So I attack you for four. So you take four. Okay, so it's your turn. Untap. Draw a card. Okay, you finally get needs for a while. Would have been nicer to have that earlier, but oh well. So, play your Muta Vault, your land. Put that here. And then later you can make that into a creature. Um, play your Smuggler's Copter. How much does it cost? Two of these ones. No, you can spend blue for that. You don't have to spend colorless. Um, the only reason I was doing that is sometimes you want the blue saved. So spend two blue. You can spend any mana, any color mana for the colorless. But you have to spend blue for the blue, green for the green. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to keep two blue for her, but you want to play that. Yeah, you really don't need the user vial. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to do anything? If you attack, I'm just going to kill your creature. Oh, uh, yes, I'm not now. Okay, so... I will untap. I will draw my card. Look, I get a forest. Yay! So now... I'm going to try to cast this card called Eldritch Evolution. Nice. Yep. So I'm going to sacrifice one of my creatures and go find a bigger creature to replace it. Okay. <coughs> now, this creature, if I sacrifice him, he will come back. Do you want to make it so he won't come back? Sure. Okay. So, I cast Eldritch Evolution. You can sacrifice Merfolk, so I have to pay more. But pay you would, life? I would have to pay more mana. Oh. But you would have to sacrifice three Merfolk. You can turn these into Merfolk and sacrifice them if you want. attack with him you will kill my creatures he's going to go away I'm going to sacrifice him to go get a bigger creature but if you don't do something about him if you don't use this to remove all of his abilities he will come back into play then I'm going to use this to remove okay his so I cast Elch Evolution I'm going to mm -hmm. sacrifice Kitchen Finks in response you spend two blue and play the Merfolk Trister, Trickster because she has Flash. Meaning she can be played as an instant. So the Kitchen Fink loses all abilities. So he dies, but he won't come back. And Eldritch Evolution lets me go through and find something big and nasty. I'm going to find something big and nasty, Emma. Ugh, it's going to stink. So I get something big and nasty, something stinky. Like a dirty pirate? Yeah, something like a dirty pirate. So like your butt? I don't have any dirty pirates in this deck though. Oh well, sex to be the deck. <laughs> I will get the Archangel of Thune. Okay. So she's flying. Nice. And she, yep, and she has lifelink. So whenever she deals damage. She's pretty. Yep, I gain life. So that's not good for you. No, nope, it's not. Okay, I'm going to attack you. I'm going to attack you with a Wootleaf Liege. 
<clears throat> you could. Hmm. So she's a 3-3. Three, three. He's a 2-2. Two, two. If these become creatures, they're both 3-3s. Three, and then you've got the Smuggler's Copter. Do you want to kill the Wolf Leaf Leech? Yes. It's going to cost you a few creatures, though. How much? Well, let's see. So, if, say, you use her to turn the copter into something, she crews it, so she gets on the helicopter. And if you block with both of these, then they will both kill the liege, and I can only kill one of those because he only has four power, and they both have five toughness. So I could only kill one of them. And which one? The copter. Why the copter? Because it's better. She's already done her thing. But when the copter blocks, you can draw a card and then discard a card. But since you have no cards in hand, you'd basically just be throwing a card away. So that really doesn't, isn't going to help you. Because you want to keep this guy because he's making one of my lands an island. So when you do get your merfolk, that your lords that give your merfolk island walk, you can attack me and I cannot block. And keeping her is actually, in that regard, better for you. Because when you have Island Walk, well, she'll be a merfolk and she can attack too. Right. So why? So are you going to block with those two so you kill the leech? Probably. Okay, so, so they block, I kill the copter. The copter goes in your graveyard. And the Wilt Leaf Leech dies. She's dead. Okay, so it's your turn. You untap. <coughs> and now you have something to do during your upkeep before you draw. You put a counter on that so you can tap it. And if you have something in your hand that costs one, you can play it for free. So draw your card. Oh, that could have helped a lot a little while ago. That's a counter spell. It would have countered the Eldritch Evolution. Hmm. Hmm. You could attack me, but I'm going to block whatever you attack me with because you don't have any island walkers right now. Do you want to attack, or do you just want to wait? So you would block and kill my creatures? Yep. How many? At least one of them. Okay. I don't know if it's worth it. Well, you will... If you attack with everything, you will get me down, but I will kill several of your... At least one of your creatures, maybe two. Okay, then... Are you, you're going to attack? Yes. Okay, do you want to turn these into creatures and attack with them too? Yes. Okay. So you spend one for each of them, and they wake up, and they're now three, three creatures. With all creature types, so they're merfolk. Well, they start as two twos, but she pumps merfolk. You don't want to attack with her, because I will kill her. I will kill her, and she will die. So if you attack with him, he's a 3-3, three, three. she's a 3-3, three, three. these are 3-3s. Three, Do you want to attack with everything? Yes. Are you sure? Okay, attack. I attack. I attack. Okay. So I'm going to block the Tide Shaper with the Archangel of Thune. So the Tide Shaper will die. I will gain 